Yo, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, Rob Dorsey. Nerd up, JL. My bad. The camera cut off on us at 20 minutes in. You know what I'm saying? So what you're about to see is a partial video. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a pretty good podcast. I hope y'all like it. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. And much love. Thanks for watching. Word. Peace out. Here we live. Action. Shout out to Tom Hanks for uh, doing that for us exclusively. Now nah, I'm playing. That was in the movie. So, what's happening, man? We on episode 10, cuz. Yeah, man. That's wild. Like, that's real wild. Uh, I appreciate y'all for rocking with us this long. And hopefully, y'all like what y'all see on this one. And shoot, man. Like I always say, like, share, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, let us know what you love, what you like, what you don't like, anything, man. Give it to us, you know what I mean? Let us know what's up. Word it's up. your boy Rob Dorsey right here, and we're here with... Nerd Up, Jay. As always, we the Beats you know. and Brews Podcast, you know what I mean? We out here doing it big, having fun, doing what we love to do, and we got something a little special today. Yeah. We got what's something that? pretty, pretty special today. This here is an offering from Southern Tier... And, cuz, can you tell the people what that say in case they can't read? Live, right? That's the live. That's the live joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, they don't got the, they don't got the, what you call it, like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little perturbed about that. Like, Southern Tier usually get the stories out, but like, you know, they're, they're a, they're a, they're a number one contender anyway, so, it's alright, we ain't gonna, we ain't, we ain't mad at y'all. You know what I mean? But what 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 it look like is representing on there, cuz? Trying to figure it out now. <laughs> Was it T I E R? A bunch of tickets. A bunch of tickets. Know if that's supposed to be. Yeah, it's live, so I'm assuming that these are a bunch of concert tickets on there. Mm. It is, yeah. Okay. So you okay. got Ticketmaster. Yeah, it's a bunch of ticket receipts on here. So that's pretty dope. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. dope. It's dope, dope graphics. Word. So, like, I guess, you know, that opens it up pretty easily yeah. as to what the topic could be about. And there goes the light. Mm-hmm. There goes the daggone light. I want to tell y'all something. Uh, it ain't my fault. I tried to do the best I could with the lighting situation and, you know, getting getting good getting good stuff. But uh, you know, sometimes we just we just fall short. Let me check the the way it looks real quick. You wanna let them know what's up with the uh? All right, let's see. Southern Tier Brewing Company. Let's go through a little history here. All right, the company was founded in two thousand one. Uh. They purchased old equipment from the old Saddleback Brewing Company in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. By 2003, the brewery had expanded to multiple priorities of small... Multiple what? Priorities. Multiple what? Priorities. Multiple what? Of small batch ales distributed locally. Multiple what? (laughs) By 2005, the company had expanded its distribution to cover the majority of New York State and Pennsylvania. In 2009, a new 20,000 square foot building was built to accommodate the company's expansion nationally and internationally. In 2010, 800 barrels of fermentation vessels were built, as well as 7,500 square foot addition to the conditioning room. The brew house expanded from 20 BBL to a 50 BBL system. The company also added a new bottling line that fills caps and labels over 10,000 bottles per hour at full speed. Alright, so we're getting into a whole bunch of shit that we don't even 
really give a fuck about. But on February 2016, Southern Terror allied with Victory Brewing what? Company. Yeah, that's crazy. To become a part of the Artisanal Brewing Ventures Holding Company. So they teamed up with Victory. Victory is... That's Golden Monkey, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wish we had that tangerine drink here, though. That's definitely a good one. Word. So what can we talk about with this one? But live, though, <clears throat> it's a citrusy session, session pale ale. Year-round standard. So you can always get it. Yeah. That's always cool because you can always listen to music and shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we back. I'm tired as fuck. Why you tired, man? I woke up early. You've been grinding your whole life, man. All right. All right, we back and brighter than ever. That's what's up. I had to put six AA batteries in that light to get it to shine back again. Damn. I'm going to put these back in real quick. Make sure I ain't yelling at y'all. Oh, yeah, I forgot Southern Tier did Krampus. That's one of the best Christmas beers in the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did you ever get to get that? You're going to get that this year. You know what I'm saying? We got you. Also, got to stay hydrated. And you got to hydrate right. This is Essentia. High pH water. You know what I'm saying? 9.5 pH or higher. Right. Now, I know y'all have been seeing, you know, a couple of the people doing, like, water tests on the on the waters that claim to be alkaline and all that. And they had Essentia on one of them. And the woman, she thought she was going to prove them wrong. Like, she, she had two lined up before, and they were super acidic. They were supposed to be 8 or higher. Mm. They ended up being, like, 6 pH. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She poured Essentia in there. Essentia is like through the roof, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's what's up, that's what's up, that's what I like to see, you know what I mean? Word, so, oh, so they didn't even really have that much on here, huh? For for uh, for live? No, not really. I just just tell you that it's citrusy. That's all. Oh, all right. What they got in there? So they got citra hops in there, and did they mention any other hops on the bottle? Variety of four hops. Oh, it's four, four different types of malts. Yeah. Four hops and four malts. Let's see if we can find that joint. Southern Tier Live. Because I want to get some more information on it. Where? He's being sensitive. Come on now. All right, boom. Brewed by Southern Tier. Fresh, they had a New York, you know what I mean. So it's an American Pale Ale, uh, but they record they uh, they they described it as a session. The difference between a session and a regular uh, Pale Ale is a session is something you can just you know keep drinking. And you know what I mean. Like the taste isn't overbearing and the uh, the uh, power isn't too isn't too big either. You know what I mean. It's not too powerful. It won't knock your socks off. You can like drink it on a summer day and be straight. Drink it on a spring day and be straight. And it'll refresh you and, you know, you just keep going. Just keep your water with you. <laughs> so this is 5.5%. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's available year-round. Mm. Oh, they, they, they ain't mentioning the IBUs, huh? <laughs> you know. So, what is this? So, citrus. So they don't... So it looks like they don't have any of the uh, hop uh, information available. But, oh well. We could probably pick it up when we go ahead and drink it. You ready to crack this thing, cuz? Let's get it popping. Word. Boom. Let me see uh, your glass. It's beautiful. Be fair. All right, boom. Put that there. 
Oh yeah, if you ain't noticed, it's really nerd up out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. Got Marvel on the left, got Sheldon on the right. You know what I'm saying? And look how beautiful this beer is. Yeah, we can actually show them the color of it. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah. And uh, the sniffer, please. <laughs> this is nice. Live by Southern Tier. All right, five point five percent session parallel. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Sheldon's the wildest. I remember that episode too. Ooh. That was one of my favorite. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> what you get like right off at the top there? A whole bunch of acid. <laughs> oh, what's acid? It's like. It is a, it is a very. That's from drinking that water though, and then going right to this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It is a very strong uh, alcohol flavor on top of the beer. Yeah. It's got that. It's got that. Uh, it's got that uh, smack you in the mouth feel a little bit, but like it's a smooth joint. I I think. Yeah, I definitely taste the citrus in it. Yeah, yeah, it's very citrusy. What would that be? Would you would you get like orange or grapefruit on there? I think like it's like a little bit of both. Yeah. Where I taste a little bit of orange, some grapefruit, and the smell though is like straight up foliage. You know what I'm saying? It's like plant life. You yeah. know what I mean? But it, it smells good though. You know. All right. So boom, we got Southern Tier live here. Got a whole bunch of concert tickets on the bottom. Bottle. So obviously, we gotta go with live concerts. Word, word. Well, I haven't been to any yet, so. Well, think uh, about who you want to see. But I got a few on my list. Yeah. Who's your top five that you want to see live in concert for hip hop? Top five. You can go dead or alive. Top five, dead or alive. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Mike, number one. I say hip hop though. Man, Mike was technically hip hop though. Mike was the king of pop. Mike was all around though. You can't. He just, was. He was. You he know was. what I'm saying? <laughs> but definitely pop. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> pop. Um, shit. Uh, Y'all comment y'all's too, man. Let us know what you want to see. Who who you would love to see uh, that are alive in live concert. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, I say big too, of course. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, now alive. Yeah. <laughs> see, I go off of not just who my favorite artists are, but uh -huh. what I see their performance is like and the energy that right. they you know what I'm saying right I think uh, Tory Lane's concerts is definitely okay turned up like I like the performance he gave too he might as well be dead he going to jail for a while so like he dead in the industry <laughs> I mean <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that but yeah uh, Red Man Method Man mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit's been jumping too. Straight you know up. I mean? The rock water. You know what I mean? I say X in his prime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely DMX in his prime. X in his prime. You know what I mean? You know? I think he's still he's still out there doing shows. I don't know mm -hmm. if he rocking them or not though. Yeah, I don't know if he rocking them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I gotta see him. Like ain't nobody posting no videos or nothing though. You know? I will say Lupe had a real good show. Okay. That was dope. That was real dope. Um, But... Who I want, of course, I want to see Pop. You know what I'm saying? That would have been one of the, the best things for me to see. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to see a Wu Tang show. That'd be crazy. You know what I mean? Because like Wu Tang had the mosh pits going. Like he really, they really was. They was the first to transcend over just being, in my opinion, over just being a a a, a, a rugged hip hop group. You feel me? Right. Like, because I remember yeah. it was the white kids that put me on the Wu-Tang Clan. Right. In uh, sixth grade, sixth, seventh grade. You know what I mean? And that was, oh, what was I? Like, probably like 11, 11. So that's like 
damn, that was like 19 years ago. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hell, 19 years ago, cuz. Damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the um, all right. So yeah, that was Wu Tang, Tupac. Uh, I want to see MGK live because his he's got crazy energy on stage. You know what I mean? And I mess with his music like heavy, real heavy. Um, let me see. I want to see a, I want to see a Nipsey Hustle show live. You already noticed the man's right there. Yeah, yeah. It's my dog. Shout out to Nips. Word, what's happening? Nip, neighborhood Nip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word, uh. He needs to drop that victory lap too, man. Yes, he does. Yeah, Sap, Sap, <clears throat> he from Delaware too. He uh, posted that you're going to be dropping that thing pretty soon. Right. So we ready for that. You know what I'm saying? We looking out for it. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I can I can go with one more. I can do one more. Um, and you know what? I, I ain't gonna lie, cause I'm not even really a concert person. But you know, I just it's something about the feel of you know that live music, and um, don't even got the phone off, man. My fault, man. No. I apologize. <laughs> Mine's on too. I ain't gonna. Lie. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so. Uh, one more person, one more person, live, hip hop act. Well, you put Michael Jackson in there, so I can go with somebody else out there. And you put Tory Lanez in there too. He be teetering and tottering in and out of hip hop. Yeah, he's hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I seen Ab Soul live. That was good. That was real good. I seen him. I, I drove. Dog, I drove from Delaware to Connecticut after working to go see Ab Soul Live for a meet and greet. And um, it was it was dope. It was dope. I got there at like nine o'clock at night. He didn't get he didn't get uh he didn't get started till like eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. Then I had to leave at like at like one. So I didn't get to see the whole show because I still had to drive all the way back home. I was tired. Like yeah. whoo, grinding. But um, yeah, Abso had a great show. Um, but I would have to say I do want to see uh, Kendrick show live. Also, let me just put up. You know what? I want to see TDE. I want to see TGOD. You know what I mean? What the hell is that? Taylor Gang. <laughs> Taylor Gang or die. Right, right, right. Like I want to see these dudes. I want to see all that. I want to see both of their shows. You know what I'm saying? That those are the those I'm are the surprised two. You ain't say Cuddy. Yeah, true. Cuddy too. Damn, can I high five you for that? <laughs> yo, I, sorry, cuz that's my dog too. Like that's that's really my yo. I just had a dream about yo. Segway, I had a dream that me and Kid Cudi was chilling on the couch, right? Right. And uh, I had just randomly put a beat on it. I made. He was like, oh, sh-. like you know, he told, oh shit, this is dope. Who made this shit? And I was like, it was me. Right. It's like, <laughs> And I was like, yeah, you want it? He was like, hell yeah. He was like, if uh, he was like, if it's not on the album I have coming out next, it'll be on the one right after that. Right. I was like, word, that's what's up. And then I was like, but wait a minute. I got something for you. Like, So I was trying to play the song Whiskey Love that I made that I want him to do, that I want him to finish. You know, I wanted to put the second verse on there, and then I wanted to layer some vocals on the hook also. So I... uh. I was fumbling with my laptop, trying to get some headphones, because I'm like, you got to listen to it in the headphones. That's how you get the full feel. And so I'm like fumbling with my laptop, trying to figure it out. And like I'm halfway waking up in the real world, so right, I'm like, right, right. ah, stay here so I can like, right, right. ah. And then I end up waking up. I never got to play it for him. <laughs> so, hey, Kid Cuddy, listen, you see what we doing, man? We drinking beer, and we love whiskey. Listen, man. And I got on joggers right now. Listen, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's work. Let's do some stuff. Whiskey love. You know what I mean? Whiskey love. I got a song for you. I need you on it. You know what I'm saying? All for the love, baby. Let's do it. Let's connect all day. All right. So, yeah. Kid Cudi. He's the top one on my list that I want to see in concert. No lie. Word. So, back to the beer, man. This is pretty good. I ain't going to lie. After like, the, after, like, the fourth sip, it's like, okay, okay. Now you're saying something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um... Let's see, man. So, who, 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 in your opinion, right now, is just completely ruling the the concert scene? 
You know what I'm saying? From what you can see from the outside looking in. Uh, I don't, I really don't see too much of. You know what I'm saying? But. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, cause you don't really see too much footage of, you know, concerts unless it's something that's going down, like an issue or something. Oh yeah, true, you know real I mean? true, so. yeah, very true. I forgot about yeah, yeah. It always you always get a lot more fight concert footage versus yeah, you, know what I mean? you know good concert footage. Why don't they do that no more? You know what I'm saying? Where the concert documentaries at? Like, they had Tupac in the House of Blues. You know what I'm saying? Right, um, right. Like, like all the summer fests that they do, why don't they put out DVDs? Right. You know what I'm saying? That'd be dope. If you need a camera guy, I'm the guy. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. You I think the me? last joint that I seen, which was the other day, was, uh, excuse me, was, uh, footage of the Uzi in concert okay and he jumped he stays that he did a stage dive from like 20 feet or some <laughs> shit like that oh that was him he jumped from the balcony yeah and they called him and shit like <laughs> damn I would not have caught that boy that's some that, word that's some I don't know that's you breaking some, fingers hell yeah like that's a whole body falling <laughs> yeah. on you like you know what I'm saying that's crazy you somebody got, some, got fucked up yeah like, like somebody's yeah. hurting somebody called out of work that week yeah Somebody liked it though. That's the crazy thing. They probably liked it like a motherfucker. Word. They say he's probably brag, bragging mm-hmm. on Snapchat. Broke my finger, bro. Little easy. Crazy as shit. <laughs> Yo, that's wild, man. I don't know. Well, I, would you ever stage, stage die? Not. Would I? <laughs> yeah. I would, I, was, I would do it just for the, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't do it from that high though, right? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised that. they didn't clear the crowd and just let him drop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Word. That's crazy. Somebody get a mattress. He's about to jump. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember the first time I saw 50 Cent stage that. And I was like, 50 Cent I mean, he, yeah, he crowd served. He was like, I was like, 50? <laughs> <laughs> 50? I was surprised. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know he was allowed to do that. It was like the first <laughs> experience with a rapper st- uh, uh, crowd surfing. And I was like, yo, this is dope. You know? I seen somebody else. It was either Kid Cudi or it might have been Wiz Khalifa. He was he ended up getting into the crowd, but he was standing up. And, like, they were just that's holding what, him That's up. what Tory Lanez be doing. Like, he do? He literally be walking on people's heads and shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and yo. The, the folks really be like. You know what I mean? Yeah. Holding this motherfucker up. Like, that was crazy. And then you go through climbing on the walls and all this Spider-Man type shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it be jumping though. Like, the energy be crazy. Yeah, I believe it, man. Like, these young dudes, they got they got a good thing going, man, with, with the concerts. and um, You don't hear too much drama. Mm, you know what? Let me not forget. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of which, uh, got the Ray Sherman on that, on that concert. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah. They be turned. Yeah. They be yeah. Turned. Energy be crazy. That's what it is. Yeah, I you know like them. And they um they they got got a lot of hits. They do. Like that's what's they got a lot of hits, you know? Mm-hmm. And um some they got some vibes. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's always dope. You know, that's one of the best parts of going to live concerts is you know, the vibes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where you can actually just you know, get into the music and, you know, this person is projecting it to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How they want it to be projected to you, you know? Like, I'm not sure. Uh, you said Kendrick, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, as far as, if it's concerts or anything like he did on that award show. Which one? Uh, The one where he came out and like the an outfit oh yeah yeah and you know what I'm saying and all that where it's like yeah a message behind the you know what I'm saying yeah then that definitely would you know what I mean I definitely like to see that I'm sure it one is. that I always wish that I was able to see mm-hmm. was uh 
Lauren Hill on Unplugged. Remember when she did yeah, that? Yeah, man. That was dope as fuck. Man. I got that album too. Yeah. Yeah, that joint's that joint's crazy. I forget what uh what song it was up. What, what song was she singing on? Like the water, water. Uh, I ain't felt this way. Yeah, yeah. Damn, what the what, the, what is it? That's what. I know she started breaking down though when she was singing it though. Oh yeah. Uh, she did that on a couple songs too. What song album. is that though? That's crazy. Damn, you make me want to Google that shit right that now. That joke is powerful, man. Yeah, that shit yeah. was deep. You know what I'm saying? Very, Word. very uh, connected. Yeah. With the audience. Mm-mm-mm. Like you, you had no twist but to feel her. Her, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I made the mistake and listened to that album while I was at work, and I was just like. I'll get out. Is that what, was that that one? Was it I'll get out? Nah, it wasn't nah, that. It was that joint. Oh uh, man. I was like, yo, I'm tired of being a slave to these people, dog. I'm ready to get out. All right, I'll get out. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm like, yo, let me go ahead and finish these cables. Get these cables jacked and get the heck out of here, man. I got beer to drink and I got music to make. I gotta see what song this is though, but that shit gonna hurt me. Yeah. She was playing the guitar the whole time. You know what I mean? And she was always, I mean, the whole time, she was pretty much like, I'm sorry for my uh, my uh, uh, scratchy voice. Mm-hmm. She was like, but I ain't, she said, uh, she said, I'm out here, I ain't put on no makeup, no nothing. I'm, she was just like, I'm tired of, I'm tired of uh, 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 doing all that. Like, this is just, this is just me being free. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And giving you my art. You know? It was, it was a beautiful album. Her beautiful performance. Um, I love seeing, uh, like I like seeing performances from like Woodstock. Like those are always crazy to see. I like seeing Bob Marley's performances. Um, who else you get? Like it's a. Uh, there's a dude that just makes he makes you know I don't even know what I'm talking about right now cause I'm lost <laughs> I just lost myself for a little bit y'all my fuck you know I must have been thinking I'm about myself I'm this fucking song and then the only thing that's popping out is the song that you talk about though what I'll get out yeah yeah I don't know why I don't remember that though yeah man cause she did she broke down on that and um she she was talking about some some heavy things heavy things Eric about dudes another one. Yeah. Her yeah. live is bananas. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's my baby right there, man. Like she goes she goes in, you know? And I um uh, I love how interactive it is, you know? Like she has some sets where she'll do the beat right there and then she had, she'll uh make a song up for you right there and you know, sometimes she'll just do a jam session with the band and They'll put a song together for you right there, you know what I mean? And it's 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 real cool, right on the spot. Would that be considered hip hop though? She's got some hip hop. She's very hip hop, but yeah. I mean like I mean, but if we gonna be uh if it if it's gonna be I don't even know what you But you, you know she's very R and B too. Yeah, you brought up Lauren Hill, so I brought her back. But back. Lauren Hill rap though. She rapped a little bit on there. And she rapped a lot. Oh, you talking about it? He's not on that album. She's a I'm not I'm just, <laughs> as an artist. Period. Yeah, but not on that album. Like that she, was all singing. She did the. And I said that's one thing that I would like to. I, I wish that I did was able to see mm-hmm. a, a live performance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but I was gonna say shit. Even uh, if we just talking about live music, period. You know what I'm saying? And going to actual concerts take it back to uh when seeing the fucking videos of, uh the back in the day groups like who like the fucking Dale Phonics and them like oh you going too far you girl. know what I'm saying but <laughs> motherfuckers, the motherfuckers used to kill it though they did they you know did they did but you going too far Dale man you 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 going too far cuz 
How much you drink? How much is that? You <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, like, but I, I understand what you're saying because, like, I would love to see Bruno Mars live. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. he he's embodying a lot of that, a lot of that era. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, but yeah, like, I the the only thing I that would hold me back from going to see one an old group like that in their high, in their heyday is because their songs would last like 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They would have like one, one song we used to be in like five minutes and 30 seconds long <laughs> and they'd draw that thing out for 15, 20 minutes. Like, you got the, <laughs> you got the, you know, you got the guitar solo, you got the bass solo, you got the drum solo, you got the vocalist solo, he doing five minutes. Of, <laughs> Do you hear me right there? Mm-hmm. And give me a little bit of that heart right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, yeah, it's cool, but like. Give me a little bit of that heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Like I that. jam out to the eyes, too. I, I like to oh, see that, yeah. though. Word. Shit, you know what I mean? Word. That's my guy. Like, those, that group, that's my group. You know, Ron, he's still doing it. Oh, uh, he lost a couple of his brothers. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that was they. They were like, I don't know, man. I, I'm like, I'm like, for so long, I had the Temptations like top of the list. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I might have to, I might have to bump them for the Isley Brothers, though. You know what I'm saying? Because word, my friend, they've been in it for a long ass time too. Yeah, Voyage to Atlantis. Um, That's my shit right there. Where man, um, where they did they do Caravan of Love? They didn't do Caravan of Love. Who did that? Who did that song? Every woman, every girl, join the caravan of love. Mm-hmm. I forgot. <laughs> if you know, put it in the comments for me, man. Let me know something. Heard up. But uh, yeah. So, um, there's so many. There's so many artists that, you know, do great live shows uh, from... No, you know, huh? sp- sp- speaking live, too. Yeah. Got fucking... I think, to be honest with you, uh-huh. live, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, going, you know what I mean? Tick, tick, ticking, ticking, going somewhere to Shorty or something. Yeah. Fucking catalog is fucking crazy. Uh-huh. Dating back decades and decades. Yeah. That nigga Kells, though. All right, Kelly? That motherfucking shows be off the hook. Yeah, as long as he don't be wearing them, you know, white skinnies and high heel uh, boots when I go see him. I ain't, I ain't trying to see that. Or the rhinestone Tims. See, I ain't know he was doing all that. I ain't trying to see it. I see he be wearing the young bull shit now. <laughs> I seen him with uh some shit that, you know what I mean, as a older... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You rocking motherfuckers shit that motherfuckers wearing in their twenties and shit. Yeah, man. I mean, but you know, I seen this one going with the wave. I seen this one get up because he looked like he looked like it was Fantasia with R. Kelly's face <laughs> photoshopped on it. I was like, hold up, no, nah, <laughs> oh shit, or no, can't be yeah, doing that. Yeah, that motherfucker. Got, um, he definitely got uh, a crazy catalog though. Yeah. He do, Shit, man. but fucking nah, I'm tripping too. Like, man, we talking about live anyway, period. Uh uh going going off energy and performance. Mm. Can't forget about that boy Breezy. Chris Brown? Yeah. I can dig it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's going off going off actual performances and shit, you know what I mean? <clears throat> he just gotta stop being a uh you know, just, we talking he, about he just got a performance and, and live concerts because we're not talking about personal whatever the hell he doing. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Like this meme that just popped up about that R. Is, Kelly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, shit. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> I'm just saying. Man. Yo, what the fuck? I'm just saying. Hold on. I'm going to download this so I can put this in the video. <laughs> Hold on. Where you at? Download. Oh, shit. Save him downloads. Boom. Yeah, that's funny. 
I never know if you typed in that shit that all the shit would like pop up. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I just thought it was gonna be the one that I remember. But shoot. What the hell is Reddit? Reddit is a website. It's got like a whole bunch of stuff like this on there. And um <clears throat> it's it's cool. That nigga look like Derek right there, dog. He really do. I guess <laughs> you gotta you gotta know like Derek is like R. Kelly's twin brother, man. Word. On certain times. I didn't search for that. Man, look at my baby though. Hmm? My baby. Yeah, man. That was when they got married. She was fifteen. Was they married? Yeah, how how R. Kelly get married to a fifteen year old, bro? Or like what the fuck? They had to go in one of them states where they allow that shit. Yeah. I know. I think, I think it's to this day some states that you, uh, it's like 16 or some crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Yeah, see see how R. Kelly conversations go to? Just, yeah. It just takes you to the dark side. You know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, man. I mean, you maybe one day, though, we'll get to see you perform live. Just, you know. Just make sure it's a 21 and up show, man. That's all. I'm saying. <laughs> Kells ain't never going to do no song with you after saying this shit. I know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you guilty by association, cuz. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, that's my man's, though. That's my man's. And I am the tap. No, I'm true. <laughs> nah. All right, so. Boom. So what's your, what's your final comments on this beer, man? What's your ruling on it? Yeah, it was alright You know what I mean I said it was alright Yeah It's not I wouldn't say it's something That I would Me personally Yeah uh, Would seek out to get You know what I mean Cause I had yeah. better things from them Right right You know what I'm saying But it's it's, it's cool though You yeah. know what I mean Yeah it's, that, it's not a, it's not not a nothing six bad pack to beer. say about it You know what I mean Yeah I don't think it's a six pack beer But it's, it's pretty good mm-hmm. You know Well I guess we can bid adieu to the people. You know where we at, man. Follow us on YouTube, Beach and Brews Podcast. Word up to the nerd. You know up. I mean, we on Facebook. Just search Beach and Brews. Yeah, Beach and Brews Podcast on there. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the I mean? name changed? It, it should change. But you can still get to it from that search. Okay. Uh, I'm Rob Dorsey. Nerd up, Jay. Be cool and stay dope. Yeah. Drink good beer. <laughs>